Alright guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are gonna continue with the blocking system and we are also gonna make, I think, a big change to um, the hit detection because I kind of made a fatal mistake that caused some errors or some, yeah, kind of problems. But yeah, let's uh, do that first. So let's open our hit service script. Um, in self search, then merges and hitboxes. We have our, uh, not the recast, uh, I want to open the hit service, yeah. Um, and here, the fatal mistake I made is that I didn't use the pre made um, enemy humanoid that the module provides. So the module already provides uh, an enemy, enemy humanoid. And we just uh, got got that there, and that is pretty much a problem, and um, because the system on its own would already get the enemy humanoid, but we just checked like that for ourselves, and that caused the problem that sometimes the hit won't really register, but that should fix this now. So uh, yeah. Let's just use the build in thing from the module itself. Yeah, so that's uh, already the change. Just put that here and put enemy humanoid here, and then that should be already it. Okay. And um, now it's of more blocking module because now we want to add um, some yeah, new stuff. So. First, let's um, get like every service again and stuff. So let's get uh, replicated storage. Let's get sound servers. Let's get some folders. Um, the events folder, the modules folder, <coughs> the um, weapon sounds folder. Uh, I'm calling it sound servers. Uh, sound servers dot is fixed dot weapons. Then let's also have the VFX event that's the same we used for our hit effect but now we're gonna use it for our blocking effect and then modules and that is gonna be the sounds module so sounds module require replicate storage modules dot combat dot sounds module just like that. Okay. And now I wanna open my hit server script and I'm gonna copy this line, the effect line, and I'm just gonna paste it right here. Uh, but I don't want the blood effect. I want our block effect. So change this to block. And um, we can actually s still use the hit position basically, but for that, let's change to hit position and then add hit position here. But then we also need to add um, that, <coughs> sorry, um, add that here, hit position. And then we also have to modify our where is it? Our helpful module. Yep. And receive after damage the hit position. Okay, but uh, yeah, sure we can't directly just pass hit position here. But hit dot C frame. Alright. Then that triggers, then it goes to here, bam. Oh and here. Hit position. Okay. 
then we have this. Now we have some nice blocking effects. Now we can also play a blocking sound. I again already have some prepared. Um, let me just get them really quick. Yep. Uh, so, oops, open me your sound source. Then the weapons folder, go into weapon. Then you want to create a new folder that is a blocking folder. And no, I already have the blocking folder, right? But in that blocking folder, you want to uh, have a new sound, and that is the blocked sound. Just add that there. I'm quickly gonna add this to. Um, yeah, all the folders. It's just the simple sound. You can change that forever uh, for every of your weapons. But yeah. And then let's do sound modules. So play sound. Then the sound one to play. And there is weapon sounds. And then we want to play the sound of our enemy because we are attacking our enemy's weapon not our like you know you understand <laughs> uh, so we want to play the enemy sound so we do weapon sounds then enemy character then get their current weapon attribute um, dot blocking dot blocked and add their enemy character's torso Okay. Um, yep, that should be uh, this. Oh, we can also just do one more thing here. Um, I'm later I'm gonna make a whole function for the guard break, but just for testing, we can set the blocking attribute to back to zero when someone got guard broken. Okay. And now we can just test this out real quick, but we have to add the current weapon string here first. And for me that would be the rapier, because that's what the dummy is also holding. Um, yep, let's try this out. Yep, you can see uh, the blocking sound is playing. The effect is playing where we hit our enemy. Nice. <laughs> I know it's not really... A good sound, but yeah. And we also got broken monster. Okay, uh, now I want to make a block in UI. So I uh, again already have the UI prepared. Uh, prepared. Um, it's nothing really special, but um, yeah. Uh, that's just this one. Without the script though, we're gonna script this. I'm gonna script this with you. Um, that's uh, really just a really simple UI. Like it's, we have this mainframe, that's the background you can see here. Then those black bars are just this one. You don't need this. You mainly just need a mainframe and a bar. And my bar is basically just this bar that starts from the middle. And then when it's full, grows to the side. Um, that's achieved by setting the anchor point to 0.5 on the x-axis so it's in the middle and expands to the sides yeah it's nothing special and that you fading out effect is just achieved by a UI gradient that has this transparency curve yep okay but now let's script uh, our UI so in the new script I'm just gonna call this Locking UI handle. And it's a really simple script. So let's get our players. Uh, game get service players. Then let's get our mainframe. That's the script's parent. Then let's get the bar. That's the mainframe dot bar. Then let's get our player. That is players dot local player. And then get the character that is player dot character. All right. Then character get attribute uh, changed signal is blocking uh, connect function. So if something 
from the by the block uh, is blocking attribute changes so if it's set to true or false then you want to do something so if the is blocking attribute is true then so if character get attribute is blocking then that basically means that it's true um, then we want to set the main frame to visible so when we are blocking we want to see our blocking yeah our blocking value but as if um, we are not blocking so else if not character get attribute is blocking and the blocking value is um, over zero then um, you want to set it to false Uh, the blocking value is under zero or equals to zero because we still want to see our blocking um, our, 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 our <laughs> yeah uh, we still want to see this UI um, when our blocking value is over zero um, yeah then let's do another uh, get attribute change signal function but this time with the blocking attu uh, yeah, attribute and then we are gonna do bar tween size that's a built-in function for um, UIs udm2 dot new and character get attribute blocking and we are gonna divide that by 100 because if our let's say our blocking uh, the attribute is 50 we want to um, set the size to uh, oops that's the wrong one want to set the size to uh, 0.5 because it's the half yeah and then here zero and one and zero. Uh, one because we always want uh, it's yeah to be one. We want want to shrink the bar on the y-axis. That would look weird. Um, or grow it, you know. Um, and then comma. Uh, then just the uh, easing styles and stuff. So enum dot easing direction uh, we're gonna use an and out uh, you can do whatever you want in that reason style we're gonna use sign and the tree is gonna take 0.3 seconds here we also want to set the main frame visible to <coughs> two but if character get attribute um, blocking equals to zero Oops, not to two, to zero. Then we want to set the main frame to false. All right. So now uh, we can't really test it out because we don't have a dummy that can hit us. But we can just set this pass script. So uh, we can actually do this on a client. We can manu manipulate the UI on the cl client. But not the actual value, but you can just open this and not this. We can go into our character uh, and set his blocking to like 30. And you can see this is moving. And if it's zero, it goes away. Yeah, and if we start blocking, it also appears. Okay, yeah. And I think we can even make a tie. Yeah, yay. Okay. Uh, yeah, but this this is pretty much it with this episode. Next episode we are gonna do the hit blocking hit animation and the script that decreases the blocking over time if we aren't blocking anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, thanks a lot for watching and have a great time. See ya. Bye.